And then, after a few words were thrown around, my mom picked up a knife and threatened my dad. And afterwards, me and my siblings were just so scared. My mom took us to our grandmother's house, who was right next door, and the police were called. And my dad did not press charges on my mom about threatening him, which turned out to be a bit of a mistake, sadly, Dad. Um, but then my parents went to court. My mom started living with my grandmother. Then she went to live with my friend's family. And it was only an OK time there. And that's when my mom moved us to a shelter, a woman's shelter. And the first day we get there, I remember a staff talking about how my brother had to leave when he turned a certain age, which just scared the hell out of me and my little sister, knowing that our brother would probably be taken away after he reached about 12, because he was a boy in a women's shelter. The shelter was three stories high with many rooms and had a tiny, very, very small park for kids to play with outside when well, they're being monitored. The staff generally talked horrible about the fathers. They tried to limit our contact with fathers. And they were generally just anti-fathers, pretty much, anti-men. But I remember this one staff, she was nice. She told me that um, not all men are bad, and not all women are good. She was generally the in-between woman. And I remember just talking to her for hours and hours. And when I couldn't talk to my mom, I would talk to her. And she, I don't know where she is right now, but thank you for being my support. And then afterwards, my mom <coughs> told us we were going to go visit our family and friends in Thailand. We were generally excited, but we had no idea what was to come. Our mom took us at 1 AM in the morning and flew us to Thailand. And I remember asking my mom at every single airport, can we call daddy? When are we going to talk to dad? And she just made up some excuse every single time. When we finally landed in Thailand, that's when I finally got to call my dad. And my dad asked, where are you? What's, what happened? Are you safe? Are you OK? And two days later, that's when I find out that our mom had pretty much abducted us and taken us to Thailand without the consent of my father. And I remember going to, to starting school two days after I moved in. I could not read or write Thai. I could barely speak it. And I just, I couldn't make friends. I couldn't get good grades. The teachers weren't as so nice as I know. And my mom would gen generally did not help me with anything. And I generally could not believe my mom. She was emotionally abusive to me and my brother, but generally not to my younger sister. She would throw items at us when we were not listening to her because she would demand as much as she can. I remember having to lie straight to my mother's face in order to keep contact to my father. After a while, my dad finally called up and said that he was on a motorcycle and it was raining. It had been raining in around the area and I put two and two together. He was in Thailand and he had come to visit us. And I remember just crying out of happiness.